The secrets to achieving internet marketing success and attaining enlightenment are the same, part two. There is a story about a holy man who lived high in the rugged mountains of a remote village. Seekers would sometimes make their way great distances to ask for an audience with him. They would sit outside the cave and wait patiently for him to emerge. Eventually, they would go away, disheartened and disappointed. One day a person arrived and sat outside the cave. He sat there for a long, long time. Finally, refusing to leave until he got what he came for, he started calling out to the holy man. No answer. This went on, periodically, for some time. Finally, the man, determined to speak with the holy man, remembered the definition of crazy, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So, instead of calling out yet again, he cut off his arm and threw it inside the cave at the holy man. With this, the holy man came out and they spoke. While I am not suggesting any form of bodily harm, this story illustrates three powerful secrets, each essential for one's journey to success in network marketing, as well as enlightenment, persistence, discipline and sacrifice. We have to give up something significant in order to achieve success or attain enlightenment. In the Carbon Copy Pro trainings, a point that is made over and over again is this, you must increase your value to the world in order to have what you desire. Zig Ziglar puts it this way, you can have anything you want, if you help enough people get what they want. Or, as Jim Rohn puts it, what are you willing to give up in order to achieve what you want? What we give up may be as simple as turning off the television at night and reading, studying and listening to webinar trainings instead. It may be taking the money we were going to spend on the latest gizmo or toy, and instead investing it in our business. It may be taking a fresh hard look at our choices and excuses, and admitting that things won't change until we take responsibility for where we are and where we are headed. Everyone has 24 hours in a day, and our time is taken up based on how we choose to spend it. If we don't have time for something, it is not a priority for us. But it is our choice. There is a reason that John Jackson ends every wake-up call with this call to action. Do something really good and really positive for somebody today, but do it in the knowing they cannot possibly repay you and see how you and the world changes. Therein lies a great and powerful truth, doing so changes us and the world around us. In order for things, circumstances, or our situation to change, we must change. In order for our situation to be different, we ourselves must become different. We must increase our value to others. Then, and only then, will we achieve true, lasting success, or experience meaningful insights. Jim Rohn says we will have to suffer one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. With the right system, a mentor and an inner willingness to embrace and to master the pain of discipline, you can and will succeed in internet marketing and attain life-changing insights. What are you willing to give, and to give up, to do, to be and become in order to achieve your goals? It is entirely possible, the system is real, it works, and you can do it. But, you must be ready, willing, and able to give what is required, persist in the face of challenges and struggles, follow through with focused discipline, and do what it takes. There is a poignant story of persistence in scripture and the meaning is clear, persistence is absolutely necessary if one is to prevail. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus is giving a discourse on prayer. He tells of a man who goes to the home of a friend in the middle of the night to ask for three loaves of bread. The friend answers, saying not to bother him, it is late, his house is already locked for the night, and he is in bed. Then Jesus reveals a powerful truth, I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is a friend, but because of his persistence he will get up and give him whatever he needs. Luke 11 verse 8, Then we are told, Ask and it will be given you, search, and you will find, knock and the door will be opened. Ask, search, and knock. These are verbs, action words. These are words that contain volition, choice, the process of acting or doing and the explicit message is to engage in these activities persistently. The motivation to do and to act comes from the inside out and the admonition, the lesson, or the secret, is to keep on doing them. To keep on asking, keep on searching, keep on knocking. As Andy Andrews puts it, 
one absolutely has the power and ability to make the life-changing decision, to be a person of action, and to persist without exception. Regardless of our crushing personal challenges and present circumstances, the universe continually offers us boundless possibility. If we will commit ourselves to the transformative power of a values-imbued mindset, faithfully practice self-directed discipline, and move forward with a no-exceptions persistence, each of us can attain sparkling new insights and achieve our heart's desire.